Hello, thank you guys for tuning in to this week's engineering challenge. Today you have Tony showing you how to make your own candy towers, and the voice you're hearing is Michelle. To build candy towers, you're going to need toothpicks and gumdrops. Now, building a tower will be very similar to the bridge we built in a previous engineering challenge, but there are a few things that need to be taken into account with the tower. For one, a foundation, once again, is very important, and by building a wider and tougher foundation, it's easier to build a taller tower without it breaking. A foundation is the base layer for any sort of building that is made. The reason foundations are so important is because every single thing added on top of this base puts pressure on it, and if the foundation fails, everything else fails. Another thing to consider when building a tower is the shapes being used. Same as with the bridges we made a while ago, candy towers will be able to take a lot of support if the main shape used is triangles. Triangles are so strong due to having fewer corners than a square. If you push in on the side of a triangle, it will not bend in and break. Where if you push the side of a square, it will start to cave in, as you can see here. So by using triangles with less sides, you can support more pressure on each side. In this case, we'll be using pyramids or tetrahedrons as the main shape used to build around for a very strong support system that allows our tower to be built up. Tetrahedrons are like a 3D triangle, as you can see here. Tony's gonna tell us a little bit about the process of building this tower. All right, so when building this tower, um, a few things to consider is like we talked about, tetrahedrons or pyramids are a really strong shape because it's a 3D triangle and as you can see on the bottom, I made six of them. Now, um, with six, optimally, you would want more of, less of a, um, what's it, hexagonal shape and more of an octagonal shape because the closer you get to a circle, the stronger it is since there's no edges to break in. Um, but it still worked, we're still close to a circle and it's still a pretty strong base. But as you can see, the tower has a lean to it. There's a couple reasons why this tower has a little bit of a lean to the side. For one, the sides right here are squares. What could have made it stronger is if I put braces in the center to make it so each square was broken into triangles and there was more support on each uh, level. Another thing too is I didn't measure it out accurately. So when we get a, uh, you know, a square over here that's fairly large and a square over here that's fairly small, we both have a weak shape and it's uneven. So if you want to make it a lot stronger, a few things to consider is seeing how you can get triangle layers as you go up, as well as trying to be more accurate with your measurements. Now there are a few ways you can test how strong your tower is. One could be to shake the base to simulate an earthquake. Another way to test it is to blow on the sides or get something that can blow air and simulate heavy winds on top of your building. Overall, for this challenge, we want you guys to build and test your own tower. It can be a candy tower or a paper tower, and you can test it through stacking things on top, or like this one by simulating an earthquake. Build a tower and test it out, and let us know how you guys did using the hashtag Clark Planetarium and hashtag Engineering Challenge. Also, check our website for a reservation and opening info for the planetarium itself. Hope to see you guys again soon. Thank you so much for tuning in, and we hope you have a great day.